IKEA's evolution from a humble mail-order catalogue to a global furniture giant is a captivating journey marked by innovation, affordability, and a commitment to design. In 1943, a dyslexic 17-year-old named Ingvar Feodor Kamprad, 1926-2018, received financial support from his father for excelling in school. Kamprad utilized this money to establish a business, which he named IKEA, an acronym derived from his own initials, IK, and the first letters of Elmtarid, the farm where he grew up, and Agunarid, his hometown. Little did he know that this would mark the beginning of a global furniture revolution. Kamprad was born in 1926 in the Swedish province of Smaland, on a small farm called Elmtarid, near the village of Agunarid. Many Swedes today will associate that time and rural region with harsher times, when Sweden was agrarian and poor. It was a time of hard work, frugality, and egalitarianism, values that would eventually enter the IKEA ethos. Ingvar's concept was simple yet revolutionary, to provide well-designed, functional, and affordable furniture for the masses. He began by selling small items like picture frames and pens, gradually expanding into furniture as the demand grew. Family members helped run the business. Two years after starting the company, Kamprad began using milk trucks to deliver his goods. In 1948, the company started selling furniture, made by local manufacturers. The same year, the company took on its first employee, a bookkeeper. Then, in 1955, the established furniture industry initiated a boycott against IKEA, protesting against the company's low-priced furniture. Many suppliers stopped selling their products to Kamprad's company. This forced the company to start designing their own furniture. In 1956, the first IKEA catalogue was launched, showcasing a range of stylish and affordable furniture that customers could assemble themselves. The introduction of flat-pack furniture in 1956 not only reduced transportation costs, but also allowed customers to easily transport and assemble their purchases at home. This innovative approach not only made furniture more accessible, but also turned IKEA into a household name. What sets IKEA apart? The uniqueness lies in the design of its products, crafted for easy disassembly and reassembly. This approach fosters a sense of ownership and pride among customers, making them value their creation more than if the product had arrived pre-assembled. IKEA's furniture names are based on an elaborate system. Beds have Norwegian place names, sofas are named after Swedish towns, kitchen tables have Finnish geographic names, chairs mostly have male names, and rugs mostly have Danish names. Ingvar Kamprad's commitment to cost consciousness and sustainability shaped IKEA's business model. The company became a trailblazer in environmental initiatives, promoting energy efficiency and responsible sourcing of materials. Today, IKEA has a global presence, with stores in numerous countries, and its influence extends beyond furniture. IKEA's business grew and grew. The company expanded throughout Sweden to Norway and Denmark, via Germany to continental Europe, and on to the ends of the world. Today, there are more than 460 IKEA stores spread across five continents. IKEA made a significant impact on the American retail landscape in 1985, choosing a shopping mall just outside Philadelphia for its U.S. debut. Contrary to skepticism, the reality exceeded expectations. The remarkable low prices, like $1.5 to $1.24 for industrial steel towel racks and a $1.329 three-seat sofa, captivated shoppers. When IKEA opened in Elizabeth, New Jersey in May 1990, 27,000 people visited on the opening day, purchasing nearly $1.5 million in furniture. By the weekend's end, the store had sold over $3 million worth of Swedish-designed products, causing traffic congestion and overflow in parking fields. 
In August of the current year, IKEA inaugurated its 40th U.S. store in Merriam, Kansas, with plans for expansion into St. Louis and Las Vegas. The company envisions 25 potential markets for future stores. IKEA's success in America can be attributed to its unwavering commitment to details with price, quality, and design as core principles. The stores, designed as family-friendly spaces, feature play areas for children and expansive cafeterias, allowing customers to spend extended periods. According to Rich D'Amico, IKEA's deputy marketing manager, the brand's triumph, is rooted in co-creation, actively listening to and engaging with its customers to deliver what they desire. The brand is associated with a lifestyle centered around practicality, affordability, and modern design. The story of IKEA is not just about furniture. It's a narrative of entrepreneurship, innovation, and the enduring appeal of accessible design for everyone.